Hi everyone, uh, my name is Pablo, welcome. Uh, I'm going to show you something really quick now about the data managing we did. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you a little bit about this project. Uh, this is a group project we did with people, with six people from Argentina, Colombia and Mexico. Um, we worked together online, of course, because everyone was in their home country. Um, I would like to show you something about the data management really quick, uh, just for you to have an insight on how to handle big data uh, in the front and in the back end and how we did it. First of all, this is an e-commerce, so we bring all the information about these products and we set them in the front uh, with some cards and then you, from here you can buy. Well, it's, it's really quick, uh, that's not what I want to show you. I want to say you that this is only uh, 12 products, but let's say we have a big e-commerce with a thousand products. So how do we handle all that information? Just go to the code. Let's go to the code. I want to show you the back end. Well, here it is. Uh, this is the get root uh, to get all the products. Um, so there are some filters uh, you can apply. So on, in this case, this, this get root, uh, it's good for getting all the products, but also for filtering them uh, with order and filter and doing the page limit. This is important. This is what I want to show you, why there is a, a page and a limit of products. This could be uh, reformulated by, by, the front, by the front end, but still uh, this is a default um, value you get from from limit of products um, what what this means uh, let's say like i said let's say we have a thousand product e-commerce we can't we can't send the thousand products to the front end and let the front end divide them because that would be a lot of information for the front end and uh, let's imagine someone is opening in a small computer or in a cell phone an old cell phone uh, they, they can get uh, a thousand product information with the picture uh, the description and all that. If they, if then the front end is going, is going to only show eight or ten or twelve or whatever. Um, so what we do here is uh, we sort them in the back end. So we send to the front end only what is necessary, but with the callbacks and information to get the next page and the next page and the final page and the first page and the last and do filters. So how do, how that does work? Um, here, well, you can imagine. If everything is empty, when less set the default on, on these cases. Um, so uh, what I want to show you is here. This is, of course, uh, it gets the pages and the start index and the end index. Uh, if there was a filter, then there's only going to be one page in this case because there is only 12 products. Um, filters are, are not stackable, so you do one filter and then you go to the back end and do the other one. Um, what I want to tell you is um, we handle this here. We, we, we send the, in, the, in the response, we send uh, the count, the pages, the page number, the products and categories. So you get only eight products in this case, in the default case. You get only eight products and the page is the number one. So if you click the number two, then you get a callback to the back end and you get the other products. And then if you click something else, it, it's, all, it's all handled by the back end. Usually when you start coding, you think you can get all the data and then manage it all in the front end, which is uh, really comfortable. Uh, but it's still a lot of information uh, for, the, for the memory. So we usually recommend doing this. Um, I haven't worked in this code. This is not my work. This is not my job. Uh, the other one is not my job either, but we work as a team. So we work all together. And that's the secret about um, working together. Uh, everything can do a code and, and the other pe person can pick it and can understand it. So here in the front end, we only have, um, we take only the pages, the page and, and the callback. So every time we need to click on an, on the next page, we know where we are, where we're gonna be. And of course the, the dispatch uh, to get the, the next products. What else I want to show you in the cart section? Let's go back to here. This is the cart. I wasn't clicking. There you go. 
Here, uh, let's say I want a Dos X Lager. That's a beautiful Mexican beer. I would recommend. And I want to have, I want to have 4,000 of this. So I do this and it says, well, here's the sign. You can get more than the full stock. So 96 is a full stock. So that's, that's the only thing I can do. Let's erase it. Um, that means, let's go back to the, to the code, that here when you bring all the information in the input props, you get the product stock. Um, usually before buying, it, it's a good practice uh, when you have the model of, of checkout. Let's say here. Let's go here, I got my information already saved. No, I don't. It's saved by the... Um, by by the chrome so here we i can pay with a stripe and everything so usually when you go to this model um there's already a callback uh, a call for the for the front for the back to to know to re-render the stock because maybe when when you up, when you upload this the stock was 96 and then some other people bought the bought the product and then you go to buy and the stock is it's on 50 so usually what we do is a second check on the stock uh, once you're paying. Uh, that's a good practice. So you don't get 96 and then someone else buys, buys, ah, buys 90 and then you get out of, out of the stock and you get another bot of 96 and that gets you in trouble. So usually what, what I want to say is you have to know what to handle in the front and how to handle your data in the back. If it's a lot of data, then you better handle it in the back. And if it's only one number, but you want to check it all the time, then work it in the front. And if you need to recheck it, go to the back. And if it's important, you recheck it. If it's not going to finish the buy, the buy, not until you finish the buy, then you can still check it in the front. You can still move it there. Um, that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching all this long. And see you next time.